this video starts, I wanted to mention that there are now three tiers of channel memberships, the lowest being 99 cents, then uh, 4.99, then 9.99. The lowest tier is almost all of the same perks, um, but without exclusive videos, and tier 2 and tier 3 are the exact same, it's just, um, you get exclusive behind the scenes videos, and uh, any exclusive series that I like have to stop because they're not doing very well, but if I want to actually continue them, then I will do so for channel members who are two t uh, tier 2 or tier 3. Um, I talk more about that at the end of the video. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan, and today we are playing on the yes, Minecraft server we're on season 5. I'm a little bit late because I was having issues logging on. Um, oh, little parrot. Um, yeah, this is season 5. I don't have sound. This is season 5. Um, we are, I have big plans this season. I'm not really sure what anyone's doing or if we're just meant to leave. Um, but what's this? That way is player shopping district. I saw that on, on the stream. And then this is admin shopping district, surface and compass. Okay. So this is surface and compass this way. Uh, surface and compass this way. Um, slash warp compass, that's cool. And this is a really nice spawn area. It's very pretty. Um, what's this? Ore shop, oh that's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's go up this path then and have a little explore. Um, slash warp compass. Let's just walk. We can warp in a second if we need to. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's changed between seasons, if we've still got, like, warp wild and everything. Um, we, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, yeah, I don't know what's changed between, between seasons, if we've got warp, or, like, slash wild or whatever. we still got all that. I don't know. Um, whoa. Oh, I forgot I have texture packs on. Should I maybe turn those off? I'll keep vanilla tweaks on. Um, and then we'll figure it out later. Ew, I forgot about the yellow hearts, though. Um, I thought they'd be cute. They're not. I really like this spawn area. It's very cute. Okay. Let's go, maybe, uh, I'm not sure, I have plans, right, um, I've got a lot of plans, I'm really excited about them, oh, that's new, that's kind of cool, okay, um, yeah, I'm excited about my plans, we're making a city, um, but not like super modern or anything, I don't know. Um, and, you know, it's me. So, of course, within the city, we will also have a zoo. That just blew out my eardrum. Um, because it's me, we will have a zoo. Um, you're not allowed to get mad at me. <laughs> um, herbalism increased the one. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, what am I trying to say? Um, we're doing a zoo and an aquarium based off of the aquarium in Galway, um, which is Ireland's national, uh, national aquarium. Um, I've been once when I was really young and I don't really remember it much, but I really like the outside of the building and where it is in Galway, the specific, like, um, the specific street it's on. It's, oh, it's so cool. I've looked at it a lot on, like, Street View and everything. It's really, really cool. So, I think we want to base an aquarium off of that, and then we've got, um, the rest of the city. Um, I'm not gonna be able to record for very long, uh, during the opening, like, while, um, because I, um, have some stuff to do. I also completely forgot until I got an email yesterday that, um, there, so there's a, 
I don't know what that sound is attached to. It is so loud. <laughs> um, maybe it was just that mu music disc, whatever. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh god, I'm completely all over the place. There's Game Jams, if you don't know what that is. It's like a competition, kind of, but it's more so for fun. You don't win anything. It was just... Right, we can put this back up to... Then it was jukebox and no blocks. Um, jukebox and no to blocks. Um, yeah, if you don't know what a game jam is, it is a sort of competition. Sometimes it's for money or like a prize, but usually it's just for fun. Um, where you have a certain amount of time to make a, a game, a video game, um, within a specific theme and sometimes with limitations as well. Um, so the Kenny Jam is, I did the Kenny Jam in 2021, which was the first game I ever made, um, was how I learned how to code was with, um, was during the Kenny Jam. Then I did it again in 2022. I did not like the game I made in 2022, but I still made it. Then 2023, I, um, 2023 I tried but it was around I can't remember why I didn't do it actually I tried and just didn't get anything done but I still tried so I wanted to do it again this year and actually succeed um although obviously I won't be that upset if I don't finish the game in time um but for the Kenny Jam we have 48 hours to make a game um, using only Kenny's assets, so he makes a lot of art, really good art, um, 3D, 2D, everything. So, uh, you, oh, I hear a parrot, um, you have to make it within 48 hours using only his game assets with a theme, which was just revealed, like, two hours ago, uh, which is connections, um, or connection, something like that. Um, I have a theme idea, or I have a game idea already, which I guess I could talk about, because I've already, by the time you're watching this, I've already done it, the game jam's over. Um, so I thought of like, maybe, I'm still not sure, I haven't actually started working on anything, I'm just thinking of ideas, but the main one that's kind of sticking in my head is, so, two dimensions, right? It's uh, 2D platformer kind of style, um, like side scroll or whatever, that type, um, like Terraria in terms of camera work. You have the top bit, uh, where, how do I explain this? You've got person A, then you've got like a hard line and that's the other person like that. Um, but this person's upside down because they're two dimensions that are completely flipped. Um, so the characters are not connected to each other in that when you move one the other moves they're connected in that the characters aren't really connected at all i guess it's the worlds that are connected so you play you can swap between the dimensions and it flips which one is on the top um and you uh you hello um you control whichever one's on the top you can switch between them and you need to control both to fix puzzles and both worlds are connected so to press a button in one world or in one dimension would open a door in the other it won't stop <laughs> i think we're just playing without sound because it's exploding my ears so so sorry i normally do play with sound but that like actually is hurting it's actually no because I guess I'll just deal with the really loud noises because I can't deal with the silence. <laughs> so, um, we, oh, ringing in my ears. So, yeah, you control the, the game like that. I'm not sure yet because there are, um, optional limitations. So you could, I think one of them is make a game where you only use the mouse or make a game with some co-op elements. My biggest issue, right, is that, oh, I was gonna go get those pumpkins, well, too late. My biggest issue is that I spent three years 
years learning how to use Unity and learning how to code using um, C Sharp, I think, or C++, can't remember which one, but you know, whichever one Unity uses. That's how I learned how to code. Um, and then uh, Unity messed up big time, essentially, and kind of screwed everyone over. And it basically just means if you make a game that's profitable on Unity, you have to pay them, like, a lot. Um, which was something that, you know, was not always the case, and they just suddenly put in there out of nowhere. And the thing is, it wouldn't affect me, really, day to day, like, just fucking around or anything. But I would like to make a game. I would like to eventually make a video game, and I'm not, like... You know, I don't think I would ever actually reach the threshold of having to give them money, but I also just don't really want to, like, support a company that would do that. But then, right, now the issue is I have to relearn all of it. I spent three years learning something that is now entirely useless. Um, and the main issue, obviously, is that I could use the same coding language, or I could use Godot's, because I switched to Godot, or I could use Godot's own coding language. My issue is that I don't enjoy the fact that that's only for Godot. I don't like that. That feels so useless. Why would I learn something so not hard, but you know, not easy. Why would I put so much time and effort into learning something that I could only ever use in one situation? That seems kind of silly and also not something I want to do. So there's that aspect, but also it's hard to want to learn something all over again because it's not miles different from what I've already, what I already know. It's only slightly different and somehow that's worse because if I was learning a whole new skill, I'd probably enjoy it. I'd have a lot of fun, I think, but I'm not learning something new. I'm just learning a slightly altered version of something I already know, which is infuriating. Like if you've ever had to do it, it's infuriating. It's like everything is just slightly different. The rules are just slightly different. Oh, it drives me insane. So that's like my, pre oh, I mean, oh, it's definitely on peaceful. Um, oh yeah, it's definitely, definitely on peaceful because I'm at a, an ocean monument and there's nothing spawning. Anyway, let's just quickly get away from that. Um. Yeah, that's just kind of a little dilemma that I'm experiencing. Because, uh, yeah, like I have to learn everything again, and I'm thinking of sticking with C++ or whatever it was that I learned. I can't even remember, which is maybe says something. But whatever it is that I learned, I'm thinking of sticking to that instead of going to Godot script or GD script, whatever. Um, to make things easier on myself. Because I do know, like, the basics of coding, but learning a whole new language, even with having coding experience, is very hard. It's not easy. Um, so my issue is, yeah, I just don't know. And I'm also like, I don't want to support Unity. That's a second ocean monument. This keeps happening to me. I don't want to support Unity. I don't want to do that. But is it not just worth sticking with it because I already know it? I have to reread everything that they did because I know they they didn't backtrack, but they apologized, and I'm sure they changed some things. But then I was like, if you can so easily screw everyone over at the drop of a hat whenever you want. I don't know how much I want to rely on this, right? Even if they go back on their decision now, they could still do something bad later on. And I don't really want to have to rely on them if they do that. But at the same time, <laughs> it's really hard to be motivated to do something again. Do something for a second time, 
like starting all over again. Oh, God, it's loud. But, you know, I can... I'm not sure. I'm still debating it. I'm thinking of maybe taking the Kenny Jam as an opportunity to learn how to use Godot. And if I don't like it, that's fine. I don't... If I don't like it, I'm allowing myself to go back to Unity. My thing is, though, I learned Unity because of Brackies. Um, that was how I learned Unity, although, ironically, he quit YouTube around the same time I started, so... But, um... I, learning from all of his old tutorials was how I learned how to code, and he came back from YouTube. He got so mad at what Unity did, he came back to YouTube to teach everyone how to use Godot. My issue is he only has a, like, tutorial on how to use Godot script, so I don't know. I'm still kind of debating it. This all sounds really stupid, but... It's a little bit of a dilemma for me. But I don't know. I'll think about it. I just, I will definitely watch the videos on how to use Godot at the very least, and I will try. And if I don't like it, that's okay. I'm still gonna try it at the very least. But that's why I don't know if I can even make a game. Because I don't know how to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm using new tools, so like, can I? But then I also think, I did, I've done this before, I started from nothing, well, I, to be honest, I actually think I know more now than I did back then, or like, I'm starting from more now than I did back then. It wasn't technically my first, first game, I made a game along with a tutorial that I never did anything with, um, so this was my first, like, I actually exported it and showed it to people kind of thing. Um, is it still peaceful? Or was I just swimming? But it's... Um, right back then. So I kind of vaguely knew what I was doing a little bit. I still had to rely mainly on tutorials. Now, I think I could do... If I was using C++, I think I could pretty confidently make the game I'm thinking of. I could definitely do it in Unity, and I could do it easily, and if I was doing it in Unity, I would even push it further. One of the additional, like, optional challenges was add co-op in some way, which I've done before, um, like, LAN-wise. I can't, I don't know how to do online, like, multiplayer, but if two people standing beside each other, I can do that, um, if, if I was using Unity, <laughs> but I'm not, so I don't really know what I'm doing, you know, oh pretty, bop bop, um, but yeah, just kind of a little dilemma, um, but I will say I recently got drunk and watched someone, oh god, I actually want to try and remember who it was, I think it was Rat Maid, is that what they're called? Dr. Rat, whoopsie, Dr. Rat, whatever they're called, Rat Maid, I'm not really sure, but they're great, I was watching them make, no, it was not that person, it was someone else, someone else was coding an update or something, doing something, I don't know, and they included, ow, they included a bit of them actually, oh, interesting, they included a bit of them actually coding and just looking at the coding it was in java which i don't know how to code in so i had no idea what any of it meant but just looking at it made me sad because i really wanted to code so i'm my plan is right because recently i was re-listening to to bo burnham's inside which was what i listened to when learning how to code um I was listening to it, and I was like, God, this just makes me want to do things, because that was what I was, I was listening to that when co learning to code, but I also listened to it when, um, let me leave those for someone else, oh,
sad and wanted to go and then I didn't because it's yeah, again it's just really hard to sit down and relearn something um but I'm gonna do it when I'm done recording this I I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is edit this video on the day it goes up. So I'm going to finish recording this a little bit. And then when I'm bored of coding or when I need a break, I will... Oh, it just started raining really heavy. Oh, I forgot actually tomorrow. Well, it'll have been a few days for you, but tomorrow Tubbo joins Vault Hunters. I love Vault Hunters so much, specifically Tubbo's POV. Um, like I'm, I don't even know what to say, I'm not normal about it. Um, it was how I started watching Tubbo, because I watched the DSMP, unfortunately, when it was going on, but I only watched to uh, Tommy, Tommy in it, I only watched Tommy in it. And then Tubbo joined Vault Hunters, and suddenly I was like, oh, actually, these, uh, my ears. Um, it was him playing on Vault Hunters on his alt with, you know, his great music and everything. It was, oh, it was so good. It, like, really got me through the pandemic and everything. Um, so I'm excited for it to come back. It's also how I got my, um, my own stream music is his music. <laughs> it's his stream playlist from those streams. Um, but I'm so excited, man. I've really been missing. I mean, I know QSMB only ended like a couple months ago, but I've been really missing really long Tubbo streams where he just sits down and plays Minecraft for like four, four, four hours as a short Tubbo stream. He sits down and plays, plays it for like 10 hours straight. Which honestly, I don't understand how people do that. Oh, I was, well, I was gonna go look for that when we first got it, but then I'm way too far now. Um, okay. Ooh, cows. Um, I did just sort of murder those horses without even thinking about it. Oh. Um, yeah. Anyway, just been rambling about random ass stuff. I'm just very busy this weekend and I'm excited about it. It's all really fun stuff, but yeah. Oh, you know what I got? I'm so happy. I found on Amazon a Funko Pop of uh, Coach Ben from Yellow Jackets and it came a few days ago and it's so cute. I actually like Funko Pops. I get why people don't, um, but unfortunately I really like them. Although I will say, they're overpriced. I bought mine for um, 8 euro, which perfectly happy to pay the 8 euro. So I actually bought two. I bought, um, I bought Ben from Yellow Jackets, which by the way, if you've seen Yellow Jackets, don't get mad at me for buying essentially the only male character instead of any of the female characters. I just the character type of very like doomed by the narrative gay lost a leg that's that's my exact character type that i love so much it's only happened twice and yet so like you can't be mad at me for that um i had to but it's of him during the party they, they had a homecoming party or something oh doom coming that's what they called it they had a doom coming party um and they all went crazy <laughs> during it um, that's, uh, him in his outfit. I was gonna buy the others, but, um, they were all pretty, pretty expensive. But yeah, I bought, uh, Coach Ben, and I bought my mom a Funko Pop of Peacemaker being hugged by Eagly, which is really cute. Um, and I bought my fairy lights. Update, yeah, there we go. I, I have fairy lights again. And I'm, I'm very, very happy. Bum, bum. Power level 100, what does that mean? Yeah, my, my issue with game development is 
because I usually start with the earth because it's the easiest place for me to start if I can visually see the game and the way the game is going to look then it's just much easier for me to actually make the game issue being obviously that the art is already made <laughs> um, which is fine but I think it's somewhere in the process of actually making the game or making the art, sorry, that helps not having the art done like obviously the art is already done so I know generally what it's going to look like in the end but I didn't make it so I can visualize it less Although I will have to, maybe, I'm still looking at all the assets, but I think I might have to, so you can adjust the assets, you can adjust the assets however you need, um, so I can, like, color pitch them, right? What's my ping like? I'm so bad at finding where I am, 97, okay, um, I, um, Oh god, I just, some days, I really can't keep a train of thought for the life of me. Um, no. I don't know, I'm sure whatever I was saying was so important. Um, out for 1.21. 
not sure when we'll add that. I also, Ace Minecraft, I've never really been able to use Optifine on, so I don't know. Um...
so even if I don't finish a game, I'll still have something from it, but I won't be doing a video like this where I sit down and just talk, because that doesn't sound fun in the slightest. <laughs> I really love coding. That was something crazy to me when I first started doing it and realized, God, I've spent years not doing this because I thought it would be too hard, and turns out, it is some of the most fun I've had in years. Like, obviously I enjoy video games, I enjoy baking, I enjoy a lot of hobbies, right? But nothing brings me joy like coding does, right? I feel like everyone has that one thing where above everything else, it is just their thing. Because it doesn't even, it's not that it comes naturally or that it's just easy or that you just enjoy it. It's like... I don't feel complete unless I'm doing it, and when I do it, like, I feel, like, relief. It's not even just passively, oh, this is fun, like, I physically feel something when I code. Which, I don't know if that sounds crazy or not, but it is the way that I feel. Um, okay, let me get, um, north, south, east, west, so we want to go north. South. I want to go south. North, south, east, southeast. This way. We're already almost here. No ID two is that different than what I have? Oh no! I thought I could go through there. Okay. see it. Ba -da -da. I honestly love how many people are on the server right now. It's a thing I've noticed with a lot of servers is that everyone shows up for opening day and then people will keep playing, but it's so rare to see so many people on at the exact same time. It's very nice. Um, even if, like, not even interacting with them or talking to them, it's nice to just play a game and have people just be there, especially not random people too, because like, I don't know most of these people, I haven't actually spoken to any of them, I don't think, um, other than like texting a few, t like, not even texting, like replying to a comment on a YouTube video, or like messaging them on Minecraft, but this is interesting, um, Right, but I still, like, know them by name. I know all of these people. Technically, I know who they are. They're not strangers. So it just feels, like, passively just really nice to just be like, oh, I know you. Um, even though I don't. But it's still very, very cool. Um, ba -da -da -da. People always end up starving at the very start, and I wonder, I wonder why. I think that a lot of times people tend to, um, rush and go for other things, whereas I rush and go for food. <laughs> like, yeah, I could go and get diamond right now if I wanted to. I actually do think, once again, I ended up with the first diamonds on the server, which you know, considering the fact that I got them from a chest doesn't really mean anything, but I'm still pretty proud of it. Um, but I always just rush for food. Because it doesn't really matter if I have diamonds now or later, I'm always going to need food. Um, okay, let me grab all that and let's look at these maps. Okay, you're for the same one. And you're for the same one. Why do they have different IDs if they're... Alright. Wait, I needed those. <laughs> I haven't actually gotten the treasure yet. I forgot about the treasure. Um... Nope. Okay, let me get this. Um, where did they go? <laughs> did they despawn? That's fine. Oh, you ready your shovel? No thanks. Right. Um, over here. Like here. And then, like... Like here, maybe. Or 
am I doing? That was weird. Oh! Just got yelled at again. There we go. That was easy. Wow. Okay. See, this is the, like, the way to go, to be honest. If you're going to play on something new, right? Do this. Just go straight for, like, ocean temples or whatever, because that's how I keep getting a lot of good stuff. Like, I have five diamonds. It's been, like, 40 minutes. Although, I think I could probably get more if I went mining, but, you know. <laughs> Four diamonds in 40 minutes from not mining. Which is pretty cool. Um, I do feel like I should probably find a place to leave in this episode, at the very least. 16 people online, that's really cool. So 
I don't know, I think Mesa might just be the same the same as deserts um, which is fine I want, I just want flat land and I'm, I guess I could just terraform I don't need to find pre-flattened land <laughs> like I can just do it myself um <sighs> It looks very edible. <laughs> so that makes sense. I really want to eat it. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of sick as hell. Oh, I think we live in a mine shaft. <laughs> well, we. Do we? I think we can set multiple homes, which means I could live here and then go to. Could go to a different place to make our house like our actual base, the building project, I guess, rather than saying house because we're not gonna live in it. This is cute, I like this actually. Wow. Okay. I don't think I've ever lived in one except for kind of in Beetlecraft season 2 so far but like we're moving to the jungle within the next few episodes so not really living there um it would be kind of nice to have like a single chest please oh someone's left really confused in the change of lighting. Okay, we're going into focus mode. Shit. We're going into running away mode. I don't know, was that a zombie spawner or a spider spawner? I couldn't really tell. Oh, I'm just, sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking, God, I really want some chocolate. Um, I remembered my dad bought cookie dough. Um, and a, a, like a brownie thing. I'm not really sure what it is, I have to, I have to bake it. That is the one downfall of being a person who really enjoys baking. If nobody just buys sweets, if they're gonna buy anything sweet, they're gonna buy pre like boxes, boxes for for baked goods, and then I'm gonna have to go and make them. So I guess it's a good thing I enjoy doing it. Just break this way. Right. Well, that's just a normal spider. Oh, shit. Hello. are just normal spiders. Oh no, they're not. sword 
leveling up sound is someone breaking blocks which you know totally not really spooky when you're dealing with something like a horde of zombies and a bunch of things i actually kind of hate the coarse dirt with this texture pack which is funny because if you don't know how <laughs> this texture pack works you can pick and choose whatever you want which means i chose to have that gravel or that coarse dirt Another diamond. Why would 
ears be broken? Is that not insane? Oh my god. Right. We're very lucky. Um, this is my issue. I'm like, Minecraft just has so much stuff in it. Why would I not just go explore for like a few hours? <laughs> like, I haven't done anything. I haven't done any mining. And I have five name tags, three golden apples, and six diamonds. Why would I... Like, why... Why would I play the game any other way? This is my issue. This is the way I play the game. So I'm like... I don't know. Um, cool structures and stuff aren't really ever a thing that I care. Oh, I haven't muted my Discord. That was loud.
this is there slash wild command or slash warp wild compass maybe warp out north warp out west warp out south okay we've been to all of those so let's go this way oh i just punched the mic so hard that was one of the warp points that's really cool okay so <laughs> and that was one of the warp points so we will that's yeah this area is actually pretty nice but i'm wondering is it too close to the warp maybe oh actually i forgot i literally need <sighs> i need an ocean i guess i could make an ocean but i'd quite frankly rather die so we're not gonna do that um uh also i'd really like if the end dragon fight was relatively soon i know there's like this curse of once you do the ender dragon fight the server kind of dies i would play so much if i had an elytra i would play daily because my issue is it like i don't know it's like having a, a, a tool that makes building easier like i just need an elytra so that i can fly like i say i need mangrove root or mangrove wood right that's why we uh, defeated the ender dragon in beetlecraft within the first week because i need an elytra so that i can go and get mangrove wood and so that i can go here and do this and that and i feel like if you're going more vanilla right without there's no like slash wild there's obviously still like slash spawn and slash compass and you can set your home and you can teleport to your home but the the thing is that if you're going more vanilla then then leaning into like the add-ons i feel like an easy mode of transport is a necessity in minecraft because if I have a build I really want to do and I really need mangrove and the nearest mangrove is like a, a few thousand blocks away I'm just not going to play the game I'm just not going to do that right if I need um if I need mangrove for a specific build I'm just not going to build that thing I'm not going to go out of my way to walk to the mangrove um unless I like really want to do I guess but at that point I would probably just put the build in a different world where I could use an elytra which maybe says more about me than anything else but like do I not have yeah maybe it says more about me than it does about really anything but um it's just just the way that I view it, but it's whatever, obviously. I don't really care. I still played first. I didn't play much of season four, which I feel bad about. Season 4.5, I played pretty often. I did 100 days. Although, to be fair, for like a lot of those, I had an Elytra. So, yeah, do it that what you will. <laughs> I don't know why. It just, the second I have an Elytra, suddenly the game is fun again. Like, the game is fun when you're at this stage, right? And you're playing like this, and you're struggling, essentially, to get everything. That's fun. Then, once you have everything, once you have all the good tools, then the game is just not fun anymore, because now the next step is building, which is hard to do without an Elytra. <laughs> so then, to me, it's kind of, like, essential. Also, I was supposed to leave, like, 20 minutes after starting recording this, but it's really hard to sit down and play just the first 20 minutes of a Minecraft world. It's really hard and really boring. <laughs> like, I didn't want to, like, if I ended 20 minutes in, oh my god, it would have been so boring. I would have gone insane. But, um, pretty fine with this. I will, I think I want to go for an hour and a half for the first episode. I was meant to get a Beetlecraft episode 
Honestly, I missed three videos last week, or this week as you're watching this, or no, uh, this week as I'm recording this, last week as you're watching this. Um, I missed out on two Eric videos and, and a Beetlecraft. Um, just cause I couldn't, <laughs> I was having a really bad day one of the days. And then, um, I couldn't get Minecraft to work so I couldn't record the Beetlecraft video. Today I was meant to get the video up, but I genuinely forgot. <laughs> so, here we are. Um, <laughs> so, I just missed the last few I kind of wrote off last week anyway because it, not a single video was doing well at all which like I don't know I think I was too hasty in my decision to put up a lot of Eric videos because um because the first episode did really well and then every episode after that was doing fine in views but really good in likes and they are still doing relatively good in likes or at least like to view ratio like compared to my other videos but it's not good enough <laughs> so eric will still be there but it's definitely being regulated to one of the videos i put up knowing it won't do well um because i need to put those videos up otherwise i'd go insane um and if it ever does so badly that I'm just like, this isn't even worth taking up a day, it'll be at least continued for members up until I've finished. Um, up until I've gone through all of the episodes recorded. So if I like, I don't know if the next one did really, really badly, then the rest of the episodes up until episode nine would be members only. And then I'd continue them as I felt like it. Um, which I guess, uh, I mean, like, I'm an hour and a half into a video. It's almost the end, so I probably will put this at the start of the video. Actually, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll put this at the start of the video. Um, I now have three tiers of memberships, channel memberships. Um, so tier one is 99 cents the lowest you can possibly put it, um, and it has, like, the basics, um, actually could go and look at it real quick, I'll put it up on screen as well, uh, if I go here, so, at level 1, 99 cents, you get the loyalty badges, you get the emote, you get member shoutouts at the end of videos, and you get access to all of the movie-style videos that are currently not publicly available, level 2, is four ninety nine um euro this is all euro i'm not sure what it would be for you um all the perks from the previous level plus behind the scenes building videos and early access to new videos and level three is the same as level two but it's 9.99 and it's just if you want to do that if you want to put extra right the main thing is just to support the channel it's not really for the perks because I know they're not great and if you have any ideas or anything you would want to see I'm sure you'll get a lot of other exclusive videos as we go on but for now that's it it's mainly just to support me and if you're interested in any way um, it would help out a lot but you don't have to um, uh, yeah um, but I just added the 99 cents one because it felt weird not to because <laughs> I don't love I don't know I didn't love the fact that 5 euro was the lowest so 99 cents is now the lowest um, and it would help out a lot but obviously do whatever you want or whatever you can um, literally does not matter in the slightest found a good 